Well, this year's historic wildfire season has California fire departments looking for new ways to battle the flames. The Mendocino Park Fire District started utilizing drone technology about four years ago, but since then, more than 180 departments have taken up using airborne cameras. But few have been using drones the same way Mendocino has. So joining me now with more on this technology and how it's helped to combat wildfires is CNET senior producer Dan Patterson. So this is pretty interesting. Interesting, Dan. Um, so let's start with the basics. How are drones being used in terms of getting information for firefighters? Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, my dad back in the 60s and 70s used to fight forest fires and used a walkie talkie to call in reports on the ground. Fast forward to today and drones are using real time data technology to save lives and keep firefighters out of danger. They're not only doing that, but they're assessing the risk of fire in and around areas. They can also look using thermal imaging technology. They can look at where the fire is moving and look at trees to see where it might move. It's fascinating stuff. So they're not just helping them fight an active fire, but they could help prevent fires as well by identifying areas at risk. Yeah, that's exactly right. So not only while the fire is going on, but before fires happen, they can look at not just the forest, but the stuff around them, including where power lines may be, where cars may be, mm -hmm. where other things that could ignite forest fires. So uh, drones are involved in not just the real-time analytics, but with the prevention component as well. So how close can drones get to these fires though? I would think they'd be kind of vulnerable. Some of these drones fly right over the fires, but other drones fly at up to 20,000 feet. They use 4K cameras as well as other types of imaging technology to see not only high definition on the ground, but to use infrared and LIDAR to detect where and how the fire is moving. That's fascinating. And then even after the fire's done and over with, drones are still being used. Yeah, drones are used in particular after the fire so they can assess not just the damage on the ground, but where fires are likely to head in the future, as well as measure the insurance costs because always uh, insurance is unavoidable. Yeah. But this can really help humans from building in areas where fires are prone to occur naturally and help us figure out causes that may be from humans. Yeah. Um I guess I'm, I'm now I'm thinking like where can this technology go? I mean at this point I guess drones are not sort of hardy enough to carry I don't know water or other fire retardants or I don't know are they are people kind of playing around with that idea? Well we have a, a long form story on CNET that explains all the potential uses of drone technology yeah. in fighting fires but you know sometimes we see those airplanes flying over and dropping what looks like water that's actually called slurry and it's a biodegradable technology that helps repress fires so doing microburst slurry drops could help uh, fire fighters in real tight spots where you may see a fire start to spark up or the fire start to spread. Uh, the drone could move into those locations and drop maybe not a full airplane load of slurry, but small bursts of slurry instead. You know what I'm thinking of right now, Dan, is some of these like horrendous 911 phone calls that we've heard of people who are in their house thinking that they could stay and suddenly the fire takes a turn and it's at their back door and they're calling friends, family, you know, emergency personnel. I presume drones are being used that way too to see who decided to stick it out and who needs help. Yeah, in fact, in this CNET story, uh, we discuss where the drones can look for human lives and understand that, hey, look, we know that uh, in one particular location, there were two or three or four emergency calls. So we can deploy uh, something that does aerial reconnaissance and figure out where and how the people are moving, the uh, type of danger those people might be in, mm -hmm. and then figure out the best routes to get rescue personnel in. I know that there are thousands and thousands of firefighters in, out in California. Many of them have left their own homes, left their families behind. They've been there for months now. This is sort of a, another body in a way, using these drones, I'm sure, is making it so that they don't need as many firefighters out there. Yeah, hopefully, and I think that this is something that we will look at in the future, is that drone technology can be used in many of the ways that put human lives at risk. And part of that, again, goes back to the being able to assess where and how a fire is moving. Often we really need human technology or we need humans there. Now we can use technology. Drones aren't just these camera sensors. They also use artificial intelligence to analyze 
uh, the movements of uh, a particular fire. Right, that is so fascinating. Dan Patterson, thank you so much. They need all the help they can get out there in California. They do.